Twitch is the most popular video game streaming platform and it has provided self-employment opportunities to many pro gamers and entertainers alike. However, there's a darker side to this medium where some toxic streamers ruin an otherwise healthy community with their twisted acts. Twitch has been cracking down on many popular streamers and rule breakers recently, making an example out of them in order to show the rest of the community that they don't tolerate offensive nonsense. In what follows, we'll take a look at some of the streamers that have been permanently banned from the streaming platform. This Canadian streamer was known for his straight talk and filthy language before he was banned from Twitch. He was often accused of verbally abusing other users without any kind of provocation, and there were even instances when many of his viewers left the chat rooms because of his toxic language. Sun on Old School was the centre of the RuneScape Twitch drama before his ban. He often harassed his fellow Twitch mates and was also known for his drunken streams, and as a conclusion to his erratic behaviour, he was permanently banned from Twitch because he proved to be way too vulgar. Anyway, he now resorts to streaming on Hitbox. Gross Gore was quite a famous League of Legends streamer who was expelled from Twitch following a couple of incidents. In the first instance, he revealed a donor's email address, a thing that is not permitted on Twitch, and for that he only got a warning. Later on, he got into a fight with another fellow streamer, but what really got Gross Gore kicked out from the streaming platform were the false allegations he made about LCS casters that have been presumably sleeping with underage girls. As this information proved to be purely fictional, he received a permanent ban from Twitch. Phantom Lord was a famous Twitch streamer that had over 1.4 million viewers who watched him gamble with CSGO skins and winning impressive amounts of money. But there was a catch, and someone finally sold him out. After a hacker, who was trying to rip off the CSGO skin gambling site CSGO Shuffle, discovered Skype conversations that indicated Phantom Lord was in fact the owner of the site, and thus he was gambling using house money, everything turned to crumbles. After being banned from Twitch, Phantom Lord seems to have also abandoned his YouTube and Twitter account and entirely disappeared from the public eye. In what is probably the most deserved Twitch ban ever, this streamer has been excluded based off a very disturbing audio clip that was broadcast from his stream. While he thought the live recording was turned off, Joe Daddy 505 was allegedly caught verbally and physically assaulting his girlfriend or wife. As a result, he was immediately banned from Twitch for life, and he has even taken down all the videos from his YouTube account in the attempt to wipe out all the evidence of his existence from the internet. If the allegations that were made based on the audio recording are proven to be true, we hope this streamer gets punished for domestic violence. As some of our viewers may find this subject too sensitive, we have included the audio track proof only at the end of this video after the outro, so watch at your own discretion. One of the most famous banned Twitch streamers, Zillian OP, had a scam going for quite a while until his own stupidity was his own demise. While pretending to be paralysed and sitting in a wheelchair while streaming Diablo 3, Zillian OP has received a lot of online compassion and, most importantly, generous financial donations from his kind-hearted viewers. All worked well until the fated day when playing World of Warcraft, he got up from the wheelchair in a fit of rage and started walking. Then the webcam went off, but this short moment was proof enough for the Twitch moderators to permanently ban his account. Pink Sparkles made a dashing entry to Twitch as she pulled a lot of viewers within a very short amount of time. She came in as a League of Legends streamer, but there were various complaints from other users that she was fake, and so Pink Sparkles soon became the most hated streamer on Twitch. She often cried during her streams and pretended to have fits of rage and breakdowns, never actually playing League of Legends, but being AFK most of the time. However, one day she accidentally flashed her ViewBot software on screen and she was instantly banned from Twitch. However, it appears Twitch has unbound her after a brief period for reasons that have not been shared publicly. This was our list featuring famous Twitch streamers that got perma-banned and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists and if you'd like to contribute, please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. If you know of any other online personalities in the same situation, please mention them in the comments below because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a great time to encourage you to subscribe because we upload new stuff all of the time so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming related articles but until next time thanks for watching and have a great day
What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of live stream fails tune out on live stream fails we take a look at live streamers who have been banned these are live streamers who made huge mistakes and got banned from the platform or maybe their content just didn't align with the terms of service now we have a lot of live streamers who have been banned so we've got to jump right into it okay so our first permanently banned live streamer today had an altercation with his dad basically he was raging on fortnite and his dad wasn't having it his dad told him to end the live stream and took the controller away from him things got hated quickly between this little kid and his dad but it wasn't because of what his dad did that got him permanently banned it's actually because he is so young that he's not actually allowed to be live streaming on twitch let's have a look You killed me. Well, I'm leaving the game. Quit streaming on the mic. Well, not that much. So what? You guys are having fun playing games. You don't need well, to get me. Well, not that So what, dude? You're playing games, man. Back out and play another game, then. No. No. Tell him you're going to add him. Okay, then I'll stop. Okay, so this next live streamer is a confusing case because she has been permanently banned so many times. Basically, her content is only borderline allowed on Twitch TV, and Twitch TV don't know what to do with her. They keep permanently banning her, but they do not give her an explanation, and then they'll unban her down the track. She has been permanently banned so many times. The reason why they keep banning her is they don't agree with her dress attire on her live stream, but it has never been enough to permanently ban her. Up until yesterday, they have finally put the nail in the coffin and permanently banned this live streamer for the way she dresses. This is her reaction to getting unbanned after she was permanently banned for the 10th time. Let's have a look.
<laughs> okay, our next permanently banned live streamer is the edgiest live streamer I have ever seen. He would go into any public place and play his media donations through his Bluetooth speaker and scare everybody in the area. Imagine the worst possible thing you could play on a speaker in a very crowded area and he will play it for one minute for $3. This live streamer's actions were so bad that not only was he banned off every platform, but he's also currently in prison. That's right, he played this sort of stuff in crowded places, colleges, buses, and he got detained by the police and put in prison for five years. Let's take a look. Warning, C4 has been automatically set to self-destruct due to incorrect timer input. Hey bad guys. I don't know. That's weird, dude. That's what it's weird. My phone like goes off and someone texts. I have like weird like notifications. My bad guys. So if you thought that clip was offensive, it only goes downhill from there. Basically, this live streamer has no shame. He will play literally anything. This live streamer then got another three dollar donation to go to a very religious area and play this media donation on his speaker in front of him. Let's have a look. This is my jam, bro. <laughs> Are you like this song? I do it for a lot, bro. Hey. You gotta go all out, bro. He then took his live stream into a college and that's when things went south really quickly. He started in a lecture and let some really offensive stuff play that was starting to scare the people there. He got called out for this and kicked out of this class, so he went to another one. It was in this class where he played something so offensive that the entire classroom evacuated, the school went into lockdown, and the cops came and detained him. Let's have a look. Okay, just... uh, Alright, Matt, can I put it down? Can you be, not be on it? Yeah, sure. What's that? He's recording and people were leaving his hair for his hair. Stop recording me, stop recording me. Round successfully started. Oh my god, Oh shit, dude. I get a better reaction to that. Holy shit. Oh, because that was not on purpose. Not playing, guys. It was at this moment where everybody evacuated the building or hid under their tables and the college went into a lockdown. The live streamer did not know what was going on as he continued to just walk around the college harassing people. It was at this moment when the authorities came and detained him. Let's have a look. Yeah, on the ground right now. Wait, what's going on? On the ground, don't make any sudden Okay, I'm recording, bro. If you're gonna shoot me. That's fine. What are you doing, bro? Put the gun down. Put the gun down. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Okay, so this next live streamer actually used realistic VR sensors. What I mean is that she had virtual reality sensors placed all over her body and she could move every part of her body. I guess her sensors and her VR character were a little bit too realistic because Twitch definitely didn't like the way that she portrayed her body on the live stream with the sensors and she was actually taking donations and doing stuff with her virtual reality body on the live stream. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, this time we gotta be uh, way more mature. We gotta be mature. Very appropriate. Is that understood? <laughs> I actually don't know, like, what words can we use on here? Can I say, um, oh, I shouldn't cuss anyway. Huh? We are the most maturest adults here. These were actually a couple of reasons why she was permanently banned from Twitch TV as well. Okay, so this next permanently banned live streamer had made one of the biggest mistakes I have ever seen on live stream. Basically, he was playing around with a thing in his room, and you're not allowed to have that on live stream. And depending on permits and where he lives, he may not even be allowed to have this in real life. Anyway, he was playing around with this, and he thought that he had the safety on, and he was doing something really stupid. He accidentally used this in his bedroom and almost caused the biggest mistake ever seen on live stream. Luckily, nobody was injured, but he did release a statement apologizing, and it really does seem like he's learned his lesson and will not be playing around like this again. Let's have a look. 
Hostile VTOL warship inbound. Say I ain't got money. Say I ain't got money. God damn. What the f I swear to God, I just emptied the mag. Okay, so this live streamer's parents did not agree with her live stream and what she was doing on it. Her parents had found out about the live stream and they weren't happy. So her dad lost it at her. He tried to grab the phone and break it and turn off her live stream. And it created one of the biggest altercations I have ever seen on a live stream. Things got escalated and heated so quickly that this happened. Let's have a look. Aaron, just move out, even if it's a cheap garbage place. Seems like you're too comfortable living in this nice house and you love your family, but you will never have forward movement in your life until you move out. Your family will always be at you. So as you can see, her parents came and were not happy about the live stream and they tried to snatch the phone out of her hands. This created a huge altercation. In the end, the streamer was okay, but obviously this was a traumatizing moment. Okay, so as of moments ago, one of the biggest Twitch streamers in the world has been permanently banned. There is so much speculation as to why he was banned and nothing is being released. A lot of reputable people have come out and verified the ban and said that it may even be worse than just a permanent ban on Twitch. Obviously, I cannot comment on the ban as I don't have the insider's information, and I have no idea what Dr. Disrespect has done to get permanently banned. I was a very big fan of his content, and as I said, he is literally one of the biggest streamers in the world, and has allegedly had other offers from streaming platforms for tens of millions of dollars. Obviously, because he is now permanently banned, and depending on what he's actually done, this might be the end of his live streams, and any contract he could be under, or future offers he could have considered, could now be void. Once again though, this is pure speculation, but he is definitely permanently banned, as of of June 2020, and it's one of the biggest moments on the internet right now. If I do find out why he is banned, I'll update it in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.